All right, Charles Bill Barra, sitting on the bench with Mr. Victor Pedraza himself. I'm yeah. um, working on my build um, after the crash. After I had my last crash, I never rebuilt it. Took a couple months off, but I'm going to get it back up, do a couple more uh, test passes for the winter time, get ready for the spring. Um, I let Vic do the tune front tuning on my cars, the springs, uh, the suspension, all that kind of work. Um, he's a master at it, so but I'll, but I'll let him tell you guys uh, a couple tips that he do to get his cars running good. He currently has a dual build 2400KV, um, up to 183 miles an hour, and it's, uh, I call it stable wable, so floor is yours, Vic. Tell the people what you might want to know, what you might want to well, tell them. Just to start off is I have a lot of car knowledge, so like road car knowledge, so you got to treat it like a road car. Yeah, it's a toy car, but... You gotta treat it like a real car. You adjust your toe, everything according to a real car. When your power hits, when your car plants, you know, you want everything to stay at zero, but to get it at zero under plant, you gotta make accommodate for that and kind of set it off before the car power hits. So you gotta know how much to over camber, under camber, over toe, under toe. I like to keep my toes a little in so when the power hits, then the wheels go straight. If you keep your wheels straight, the power hits, they do that. So it's just little little tips and tricks we like to mess with you know adjusting the shocks make sure your, your ride height's nice and low we don't use droop screws everything is just internal inside the shocks and keeps the car true car going straight car goes straight all you got to worry about is you putting the power yeah yeah like i said i used to use my droop screws a lot um and i used to wear out the a-arms mm -hmm. on my car a lot and bow them out a lot and so after a while your car yeah it starts to like rock that. so like I said, I, I, I you know, I, I, I learn something every day. So I learned from him. Um, we were riding together for a long time now. And like I said, if he got some ideas to make us run better, mm -hmm. then <laughs> by all due respect, I got no no ego. I let him uh, do the work. Um, mm -hmm. The inside suspension, the shocks. He opened up the shocks, uh, put bushes inside. Was it bushings or or uh, actual uh, bearings? I threw some bearings to compensate to add up some space to bring the rod in more bringing everything right smaller. so that's how you mean, yeah that's how i shorten, shorten everything down ride. instead of using droop screws to force everything in right you shorten everything in there now that gives you more tension on the shocks on your spring rate too mm -hmm. so now you you don't have to use as much spring before you had to over crank them all and they were still loose now with lowering that right height gives you more spring tension so now you got way more adjustability on how much tension you want to put to your car right right which means a lot yeah She's looking like she's ready to go. Get the bodies back yeah. in. I'm gonna do a couple more things. Um, we gonna um do some adjustment with the uh yeah. get the remote, do some adjustment with the um the trim and stuff like yeah. that, and then hopefully on, get man. it out and get it tested. But yeah, <clears throat> the winter build is on its way. Damn, you know us. You know our saying there Be is ready. no off season, so we gonna run it. throughout the winter and uh, keep this party going so the good weather come back and then we will be hitting uh. 200 miles an hour yeah. in 2024. I just want to see sure. who, who's going to be doing speeds like us in the winter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, nobody really runs the winter time. Everybody says, you know. Yeah, so, I, yeah, but we want to eat. If you yeah, go back on my see. channel, we yeah, got videos really. 18 degrees, 20 degrees. So we ain't speeds of 160, uh, 150, well, shit, even 170 uh, when it's cold. So, gotta be the hot heads, 170, 180s. Yeah. In yeah, the winter. Yeah, definitely. So, like I said, check us out on the channel, Built by Rob Barcy. You already know. I know. We out of here.